Good day, Grade 2s. Today we are going to do number names and symbols from number 1 to 50. But first, let's start counting. So, just because it's maths doesn't mean we don't have a few spelling rules we need to remember. When we're writing number names that have two word numbers from 21 to 99, we have to write a dash. So, anything before 21, we write as one word. For example, 11. Anything after and from 21, we write as one word with a dash. One way to remember your dash is to think about it like peanut butter. When we make a peanut butter sandwich, we have two slices of spread and then the peanut butter in the middle. So we can look at one slice of bread as one word and the other slice of bread as the other word. And then we need to put in the peanut butter to make it one word. So we have, for instance, the number 21. So we write 20. We put in our peanut butter, the dash, and we write 1. Then we have one peanut butter sandwich, 21. When we look the same at number 27, we have a 2 and a 7, 27, 20, peanut butter dash, 7, 27. So this is how we're going to make one word from 21 and onwards. So, just because it's maths doesn't mean we don't. Wait! Before we continue with the work, it is very important to note that the peanut butter rule does not apply to the multiples of 10, meaning that numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 are written as one word. There is no dash in between 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. You do not write with a dash, therefore the peanut butter rule does not apply to multiples of 10. Today we will be looking at the number names and number symbols of number 1 to 25. So here we have one dot, we write number one, and then we spell it O-N-E, one. Two dots, number two, T-W-O, two. Three dots, write number three, we spell it T-H-R-E-E, -E, or as most of you should know, from English, this is a th, so we say three, three. Then we have four little dots here. We write number four and we spell it F-O-U-R, four. Then we have five dots, write number five and we spell it F-I-V-E, five. Six dots, we write six, we spell it S-I-X. And over here you will see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. So we write number seven and we spell it S E V E N 7. Now we're going to look at 8 dots. We write number 8 and we spell it E I G H T 8. Here we have 9 dots. We write number 9 and then we're going to spell it N I N E 9. 10 dots. We write a 1 and a 0 and we spell it T E N. 10. Then we have 11 dots. We write 1 and 1 for 11 and we spell it E L E V E N. 11. We have 12 dots. We write a 1 and a 2 for 12. Then we have it spelled T W E L V E. 12. 13 dots. A 1 and a 3. We spell it T H I R T E E N. This is a Th for 13. Then we have 14 dots, so 1 and a 4, and we spell it F O U R T E E N. 14. 15 dots, we write 1 and a 5, 
we spell it F I F T E E N. Fifteen. We have sixteen dots. We write a one and a six, and we spell it S I X T E E N. Sixteen. So now we can start looking at number 17. So we're going to count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We write number 17 and then we spell it S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N. 17. Then we have number 18. 18 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We write the number symbol 18 and the meaning of the spell it. E I G H T E E N. 18. 18. Now let you guys count. 1, 2, 19 dots so here the number symbol 19 1 and a 9 we spell it n i n e t e e n 19 19 here we have 20 dots we're going to write the number symbol 2 and a 0 and then we're going to spell it for the number name t w e n t y 20 21 dots 21 21 we're going to spell it t w e n t y then we put a little dash o n e because we are combining the two numbers so everything up until number 20 is written as a whole word when we get to number 21 remember our little friend here number named dash Dash comes in and he shows us from 21 and onwards that we have to divide it into two, but it remains as a unit. So we have T W E N T Y dash O N E 21. 21. Then we have 22 dots. Number symbol is a 2 and a 2 for 22. And then we're going to spell it. T W E N T Y. Remember your friend Dash. And then it is a T W O. 22. 22. 23 dots. A 2 and a 3 for 23. Then we're going to spell it T W E N T Y. Our little friend Dash over here. T H R E E. We know that it is a th. 20. Three, 23 then we have 24 dots we're going to write a 2 and a 4 for 24 we have our little friend dash here don't forget about him and then we have t w e n t y 20 dash f o u r 4 24 then we have 25 dots that we write a 2 and a 5 for and then we have t w e N T Y dash five F I V E twenty five. As we continue with the number names, the new number names we will be learning is from twenty six until fifty. So if we start, we see twenty six dots. You write two six, then you spell it T W E N T Y. Put your peanut butter the dash. 6, 26, 27, 2, 7, T, W, E, N, T, Y, dash, S, E, V, E, N, 27. Remember the dash, peanut butter, very important. This is basically how we're going to continue all through with our numbers. As you see at number 30, what is so special about number 30? Why is it in red? Because 30 is an increment of 10 thus meaning it is a multiple of 10 30 multiples of 10s means we don't put a dash over here and it's usually one short word 
As we continue, we have 31, 3, 1, I R T Y dash O N E 31, 32, 3, 2, 30 dash 2, 33, 3, 3, 33, 34, 36, your 3 and your 6, 36, 37, 3, 7, 37, 38, 3 and an 8, 38, 39, 3, 9, 39. Remember, all of the two words combined to make one number word has a dash in between, except your multiples of 10, that's just one short word. Looking at the last 10 numbers, we see two red numbers. Why is that? Because they are multiples of 10. Therefore, they do not have a dash and they are written as one short word. 40. 4 and a 0. F-O-R-T-Y. 40. 41. 4 and a 1. F-O-R-T-Y. Peanut butter, O N E, forty one, forty two, F O R T Y, peanut butter, T W O, forty two, forty three, a four and a three, forty dash, R E, forty three, forty four, a four and a four, forty dash four. 45, a 4 and a 5, 40 dash 5, 46, 4 and a 6, 46, 47, a 4 and a 7, 47, 48, a 4 and an 8, 48, remember the dash, 49, a 4 and a 9, 40 dash Nine. And then lastly we have 50 which is an increment of 10, a multiple of 10, so it is 50, 5 and a 0, and then we have 50. So let's do a quick recap. What did we learn today? Today we learned that a hyphen or a dash is like the peanut butter when writing words from 21 until 99. We learned that multiples of 10, we write as one word, for instance, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. We learned number names from 26 to 50, and we learned that we first pronounce the tens and then the units, for instance, 21, 26, 28, 35. So we first pronounce our tense, then we pronounce our units. Thank you so much for listening today and watching. I hope you learned something. Tomorrow we will continue with the number names from 26 till 25.